Introduction CBTT Cognitive Behavioral Torah Therapy Through our lives, we face challenges to our health and happiness. Some challenges are external, but others come from within, from our own imaginations. This doesn't mean these challenges are not real. This means they should be dealt with in a, in a specific way. In my practice, my clients have had a great success by utilizing CBTT, Cognitive Behavioral Torah Therapy a holistic therapeutic approach built on the cognitive behavioral therapy framework and directed with Torah true perspective and wisdom. The Torah-based mythology can be applied beneficially to almost any challenge to happiness that one may face. It has proven, it has proven re reliable in helping people overcome psychological, emotional, and even psychiatric issues, as well as guiding those who simply want to live a healthy, fulfilling Jewish life. To help someone, for example, overcome a fear of dogs, a CBTT practitioner will assist a person to use guided imagery to imagine themselves staying calm in the presence of a dog, would accompany them in, on a guided visit with, with a friendly dog in a safe environment, would assist them in uncovering the basis of this fear. A CBTT practitioner would use all those tactics but would also teach the person how to channel their faculty of imagination in a positive way and channel their animalistic tendency of fear into the blessed energy of awe and wonderment through prayer, meditation, and other spiritual practices. A half-baked understanding of a problem leads to a half-baked solution. One of the reasons CBTT mythology is so successful is that it, it, it involves a very thrill uh, through an analysis of the many and varied key components contributing to one's lack of healthy equilibrium. This crucial factor is not always addressed in this standard CBT, CBT approach, and without it, a client would at best end up wasting his time, money, and effort. At worst, he may, not, he may end up feeling, God forbid, like a lost cause. The responsible component may be spiritual, mental, and what I call mushy mind syndrome in, in, or nutritive. This will be examined in more detail in the text. Use your imagination. A CBTT practitioner functions as a spiritual chiropractor, realigning your moods by helping you balance your physical needs, including diet, sleep, and exercise, with your spiritual needs. Utilizing the inherent soul powers of the neshama and your faculty of imagination, you can achieve self-actualization. Our faculty of imagination is a very powerful yet delicate tool. Its purpose is to serve the Creator through prayer, meditation, and Torah study. If the imagination is not occupied in a positive way, the Yitzhakara takes control and uses it in a negative way. The Torah is telling us, occupy your mind so it doesn't occupy you. Yosef was thrown into a pit that was, Genesis thirty-seven twenty-four, empty, devoid of water, but which also was, our sages tell us, swarming with snakes and scorpions. The Lubavitcher Rebbe teaches us that this is a lesson of our life. If our mind is devoid of Torah, which is compared to water, it will instead become full of snakes and scorpions of unhealthy thoughts, which lead to development of unhealthy emotions antithetical to happiness. Eventually, our physical health may suffer as well. Yet, even some people who do occupy their minds in a positive way, who pray three times a day, every day, or learn regularly, can suffer from a range of psychological disturbances, such as as anger, mismanagement, anxiety, depression, even severe psychiatric disorders. Why is it so? A delicate, expensive precision instrument is made up of different elements that must function together for optimal performance. If one of these elements is bent, rusted, or stuck, the instrument as a whole will suffer. So to a human being, the most delicate of instruments. When faced with such a disturbance, all the factors may be contributing to this situation may be considered. According to the Rebbe Rashab, in short, mental and emotional disturbances arise from a lack of deep med 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 meditative prayer, with, while negative character traits are made worse by improper e eating habits. Examine the nourishment you offer your soul and your body before the disturbance set in. Are your prayers heartfelt or robotic? After 10 minutes of prayer, can you remember saying even one word? Do you follow your prayers with Torah study? to consolidate the spiritual highs you achieved? Or do you put down your sitter and pick up the newspaper? Do you eat a healthful meal in sensible portions or do you clog up your system with an overabundance of harmful foods? Each of these factors is essential to our overall stability. Each can be used properly to our overall 
overall benefit. One thing to remember is that while we may have developed habits that are not beneficial, we can overcome them and develop positive habits that help us live our lives with simcha. DIY CVTT. Perhaps you do not have a CVTT practitioner nearby. Don't worry. I hope through this book to give you tips and tools, including Torah wisdom, exercises, and meditations to be your own CVTT practitioner. May I apply in these lessons to help you reach new heights through the health and happiness.